pause the video here to think about it before I give away the answer. Okay, so I think the easiest way to think about this problem is in terms of debt and credit. So when Bob first goes and buys this horse, he spends $60. On his bank account, that's going to show a transaction of negative $60. But then when he goes and sells the horse for $70, he is earning $70, so that's going to be a transaction of plus $70. And then because apparently Bob doesn't know what he wants, he goes and buys back the horse again for $80. That's going to be another negative transaction to his bank account, minus $80. And finally, changing his mind one last time, he sells the horse again for 90. So that's going to be a plus 90 transaction in his bank account. So to get the total amount that his bank account has changed from beginning to end, all we have to do is add up these transactions. Negative 60 plus 70 is going to be a positive 10. Negative 80 plus 90 is also a positive 10. And then 10 plus 10 is clearly going to be $20. So this means Bob's bank account was $20 higher at the end of all of this than it was at the beginning. He made $20 in profit.